During a disaster, aid and rescue workers need precise information on where people are, what they need, and how to reach them. When access roads are blocked or destroyed, the sky is the fastest or even only way to reach people in need. Therefore, humanitarian organizations increasingly use drones to facilitate their work. But the technology is still quite new. So a research initiative funded by EU humanitarian aid and led by FSD took a closer look to better understand how drones can help during humanitarian crises. Drones are basically flying robots which come in many shapes, such as quadcopters, octocopters, glider drones, or in hybrid configurations. Each type has specific properties, but they are generally small and easy to fly, similar to drones used for professional photography. Naturally, they are much cheaper and easier to handle than planes and helicopters. Humanitarian drones collect real-time information at the place where a disaster has occurred. They assist in search and rescue operations using infrared cameras, and they transport lightweight goods like medication and other medical supplies. Here in Haiti, for example, the International Organization for Migration uses drone images to monitor and count tents in camps created after the earthquake. With this information, IOM improves its camp management, which creates better living conditions for the inhabitants. In order to make a map, an operator programs the drone to take a series of photographs of an area. After the flight, the individual photographs are stitched together into one big geometrically correct image, the so-called orthomosaic. A cartographer highlights important information in the orthomosaic, like streets and buildings, thereby transforming the image into a map. But mapping is not limited to two dimensions. In Tajikistan, Erosion in the upper mountain areas frequently causes mudslides that destroy whole villages downstream. In order to warn the population ahead of time, experts need information about the erosion zones to forecast possible mudslides. This is a 3D model of the same site made from drone images. Instead of climbing these mountains by foot or flying in with a helicopter, experts now use this model to examine erosion zones without putting themselves at risk. Many more uses for drones are currently being developed and tested by companies and aid organizations. If you're interested to learn more about this topic, visit our website where you'll find many case studies and further learning resources.